This week, an alarming rise in hate and discrimination dominated headlines in South Florida and a call to action by South Florida lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Long before the headlines of the last week or two, the Anti-Defamation League has been tracking the steady increase in anti-Semitic uh, anti incidents, hate crimes, harassments of Jews. Yael Hirschfield is the interim regional director of the ADL of Florida. She joins us now by Zoom. Yael, good morning. Good to see you. Thank you, Michael and Glenna, for having me. Good morning, Yael. You know, we have covered what seems like a real spate of these kind of incidents in the last week. Uh, there is no doubt in the public consciousness it has really bubbled to the top. And there are many people telling us that they think it's connected to headlines coming out of the Middle East. What's your take with the ADL? Absolutely. What we have seen in the last week is a spike of anti-Semitic incidents against Jewish individuals and institutions. And let's be clear about this. Targeting Jewish people for who they are, targeting Jewish institutions because they're Jewish in response to the Middle East conflict is not activism. It's plain and simple anti-Semitism. And at ADL, we have tracked in the last week or so an increase of 75% of anti-Semitic acts against the Jewish community. That's unheard of. And if you look at social media alone, we did a Twitter analysis over the last week. The trending of Hitler was right was 17,000 tweets. So can we, let's just dig down a little bit into that. Horrifying to hear. But is that ignorance? Is that misinformation? In some cases, what we've covered, people doing things that almost feel like a mental illness. Yeah. What is, where, where does that come from? I think it's a little bit of everything, but to be clear, you can have debate and policy disagreements with the conflict. You can go in rallies and protest and show your views. But when you use inflammatory rhetoric, when you call for uh, actions against the Jewish people, when you demonize the state of Israel and those who support it, you create an environment where people that have hate in their hearts will use those words as a calling clarion to go out and attack Jewish people. So we need to be very careful on how we speak. We need to be very careful on what we say because our words lead to action. Uh, yeah, you couldn't see it, but we were just showing some video of one of the ugliest anti-Semitic uh, incidents that we've seen in the last couple of weeks in South Florida. A, a man who, 39-year-old man from Hellendale Beach, uh, stood outside the Chabad of South Broward, hurled insults. Uh, here is a picture of this man. Uh, hurled mm -hmm. insults, anti-Semitic slurs, and then he left Bogs, uh, bags and boxes of human feces there uh, outside. Uh, we, he has been charged with a hate crime, felony hate crime, in fact. Uh, is, is this guy kind of typical of a anti-Semitic hater, or what, what would you say about these kinds of actions? You know, like, like you mentioned, there are all kinds of people that will use the hate in their hearts to express it against the Jewish community. I mean, I don't want to focus on the one person that may have a mental health issue. It goes beyond that. The people that are marauding the streets in Los Angeles looking for Jewish people to right. attack, um, that is hate, plain and simple. It is anti-Semitic. So uh, I want to be clear what this individual did is hate crime, um, but it comes in many different forms. And we cannot excuse antisemitism um, because of the individual. The impact on the Jewish community is the same. The impact on Jewish people now debating whether they have to hide their Jewishness when going out is the same. You know, that's interesting that you say that. Yeah, Ail, we covered uh, an incident at a pizza place in North Miami Beach this week, a kosher pizza place. Mm -hmm. The owner there uh, had a message, and he was very adamant to get his message out. He said, this isn't 1941. We'll fight back. We are not afraid. I found that message really interesting to broadcast. Um, and I would like for you to sort of fill in our viewers the context of that as you see it. 
I think when we use those words, what we mean is that we will use the resources available to us. And that's why ADL established a website, hashtag act against antisemitism and act against antisemitism.org. We have the elements and the tools to fight this back. You know, there are resolutions on both uh, houses and Senate to condemn antisemitism. We are asking for funding to be placed uh, um, on uh, addressing no nonprofit security grants uh, to preserve Jewish institutions. So we have the tools to fight back. That's what we mean, that we will not remain silent, that we will demand from our leaders the actions needed to protect the yeah. Jewish community. And yeah. that's what we mean. Yeah. Uh, one way to fight back, we talk about this frequently at our dinner table, uh, is to simply not abide any kind of anti-Semitic remark. If you hear something, somebody say something which, you know, has overtones of anti-Semitism, just don't sit there and let it go by. I mean, say something, I mean, perhaps in a civil way, if you can, but just simply uh, standing by and not saying anything, not doing anything, I'm not advocating violence, but you, you just cannot permit people to tell ancient stories about Jews or make a slur and just uh, and do nothing. I absolutely agree with you, Michael. And, and, and Glenna, you're right. When we talk about fighting back, we talk about not being uh, a bystanders. We're asking all, also everyone in the community to support us. When they hear or see anti-Semitic tropes or stereotypes, whether it's on social media or on, uh, in their circles, push back and, and say that's not acceptable because we know what that leads to. Words lead to action. And if we allow anti-Semitism, stereotypes and bigotry to become normalized, we will see a society that deteriorates into acts of vandalism, into acts of assault, because when you don't recognize the humanity in the other, then you are easier prone to act violently against them. Yael Hirschfield, uh, interim director of the Anti-Defamation League of Florida. Such wise words and sage advice, yes. and we appreciate you being with us today. Yael, thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.